You gonna hear it saying now? You're in the grill pit, bitch. Man who was accepted as a god in Europe long before the birth of Christ accepted quite a few Africans as as deities. M. Hotel, great African who was the world's first multi genius. This is a sad moment, prison lawyer. I want to welcome you to the grill prayer. Thank you, Doctor, for that introduction. I couldn't say it any better myself. And Sasa F. Moya, prison lawyer. And I want to welcome you to the grill pit. Sasa F. Moya, prison lawyer. And I want to welcome you to the grill pit. And I want to start right off and say Detroit has announced they're discontinuing the gas power challenging and charging muscle cars. I know a lot of you black folks running around here crying because you can't get that piece of junk car. Mm. Well, I wanted to break it down for you so you understand why it's criminal that the Dodge is being discontinued. It had nothing to do with the fact that them, um, and the fact of the matter, they shouldn't even be selling that car. And black folks shouldn't be driving a car. This the racial, the 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 the, 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 the racist roots of that car. I mean, I'm sure y'all remember the Dukes of Hazards. That's what the, what they was driving. You understand me? And um, and that car hasn't I mean, that car hasn't disconnected itself from that that um, that history. In, in fact, it, it's embracing that history. Um, but I mean, Dodge discontinuing the car. Um, to me, I think it's it's slimy for them to do it. Like I'm not even I don't even drive the, that heap of junk. None of none of that domestic garbage. Uh, just because things like this, right? They they had any, everybody buying these cars. They had rappers singing about these cars, making li rhymes about these cars. Now they're gonna do something electric. You know what your car is worth? Nothing, zero. It's worthless right now. Um, worth less. And it's no matter how you play the game, and you can try to say well. A trade-in amount and this all this other stuff all the salesperson is going to tell you is your car is worth less it's worth put it this way um because we don't know how much less it's worth we just know when you come in and try to trade in that car they're going to tell you in 2000 in 2023 2023 we disconnect discontinuing that car and nobody wants that car because the reason why we're developing an electric car because everybody wants to drive an electric car right so what does that mean to you as the owner of that car? And I, the reason I, I'm SF Moya prison lawyer, but I sold cars for a long time. In fact, I was selling cars before I was SF Moya prison lawyer. You know, so I know car the car business extremely well. Um, I know it better than a lot of individuals. Um, just the whole back from from selling cars to financing cars to, I mean, I did I have my own car business, so I know the business. You know, like the back of my hand. Um, so. So what's gonna happen, you come in, individual's gonna tell you, your car is worth X, Y, Z, but we can still do the financing, but you're upside down now. If you understand what upside down is, you have negative equity in your car. So just say if they were still making that car, you might be a negative, negative a couple of thousand dollars, but now they're not making that car, you're gonna be truly upside down because what are they gonna do with that car when they get it? They can't resell it. I mean, the reason Dodge is removing himself away, it's actually a signal because either gas prices are going to go up again or the market's switching to all electric cars, which we know they're switching to all electric cars. But all I'm trying to say, Dodge, because they're so slimy, they could have did it a little bit better than just announcing we're going to switch to electric electric, electric cars without giving individuals an opportunity to some type of credit, some type of buyback, some type of something. So you or you would not going you went in knowing that electric car is right around the corner. Don't buy these gas cars or we're going to produce the ones only for individuals who want to buy gas cars because it's all by us all by choice but you gotta understand the longer you keep that car the more things transfer over the ele electrical cars it's going to be just like regular tvs to the point where you can't drive a gas car anymore so your car is going to be truly worthless so i mean what does that mean to individuals who have gas cars are they going to come up with some type of converter to convert gas or hybrid version where you can get it implemented. I don't know. You know, I just know that this was a slimy ass deal that Dodge did, right? And you gotta understand, it's a lot of African-Americans with 
these challengers and chargers. Even though it's a racist ass car, you should have followed your first mind and never bought that shit. You know what I'm saying? Bought yourself a Honda, a Toyota. Shit, like me, buy a BMW. You know what I'm saying? I mean, BMW is going through its transitions too, but I don't think it's going to be as hard as this trust, like not giving a fuck type shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's crazy. I mean, it, it, it's a turd car. It's, it's Why would you buy a car that has 700 and some odd horsepower in it when all it's going to bring you is a ticket, higher insurance, and a payment you can't afford? So, I mean, you can't, I'm not going to buy a car with that type of horsepower that I can't drive because I know I'm going to drive that fast. I know it's going to entice me to get a ticket. And just in Minnesota, every time I drive a my car, I'm on the highway. I get individuals come up to me on chargers and challengers and whatever they're going to do, and they want to race. I'm going to race you. But they, they, I haven't drove, driven my car as much as I usually drive it just because they've set up these uh, these uh, traps. And I've, I've seen I've speed I speed a lot, but I don't drive my car enough to get caught in a trap. But they set up traps specifically, and they're looking for individuals who are doing excessively. You know, you can do right now. Before you could do like you you know I'm not gonna I'm gonna do about five over. If you do a little bit over five over, they pull you over. Now they're looking for motherfuckers doing 20, 5, 25, 30, 40 because I'm doing I'm doing 115, you know, 120, you know going down the highway so they're looking for that they're sitting back waiting for those those big tickets so they can take the vehicle from you and they can give you this crazy ass ticket and they can take your license from you so my deal is like i said if to start with the car when i when i thought about it i mean unless you're in a state that you could drive that fast or or, or get away or they it, it, you have a little bit less petty police officers then it makes no sense to have that car but again it's nothing but a black individuals purchasing these dumbass cars it's stupid now you now you screw now because the only thing you can do is try to trade it in because they're already telling you in 2023 we're about to have a a new new vehicle and your car's worth less it don't matter what you got hellcat srt srxt d5 whatever they see whatever those cars come in you you're fucked Really? I mean, you should be trying to get out the motherfucker now, find some goofy that, that wants to buy for me for full, you know, at least get some money out of it, or at least break even, because this killed the game right here. And I'm, you know, I don't care. I mean, I wanted to race some of you. I mean, I know y'all gonna get me, but shit, y'all all over the road about to kill y'all self. You, you, you can't handle like a BMW. That's a whole nother conversation. You know what I'm saying? But I start off saying that it's criminal that Dodge is uh, discontinuing it. And I think it's for a lot of reasons, you know, it's criminal. Um, that they're doing it. Um, the main thing about it is, like I said, it's just like you're just killing people. You know, killing these black people who've spent all this money on these cars, and now they ain't gonna be able to get out of them. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna have to burn them up. You know, get them get go, car wrecks or whatever. You know, send them back to the insurance company because the car dealerships are not taking them at all. And like I said, who wants a motherfucking General Lee Dukes of Hazard bullshit ass car anyway? Racist ass bastards. I used to like that show though. It's SF Moe, your prison lawyer. And I, like I said, we don't need 100,000. I don't need 100,000 people watching me. Just need you. Support, like, watch, share, and I'm good.